everybody. Today we're going to be fitting the down pipe that I did the unboxing of yesterday. As you can see, you hold it next to the other one. This one is a lot smaller than the other one, so it'll be a lot better for the bio cleaners. A lot lighter, performs a bit better. Uh, Supposed to make the bike a bit nicer to ride. So I've got everything I need together to do the job. The three main tools you're gonna need. You're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket to undo the clamp on the joint. And you're gonna need a 12 millimeter to undo the nuts on the head. So we're going to go ahead and undo the head nuts first. I did order some uh, stainless steel nuts for this. But unfortunately they never turned up in the post. So I'm going to put it back together with the uh, nuts it already had on it. And I'm going to get some more and I'm going to just change them over in my own time. So, that's them off, so that's loose now, now you want to go around the other side and you want to get your 10mm and crack off the exhaust joint clamp. Like that. Ow. And then it should be able to work it loose. Should be the key word. There we go. Me being the genius that I am, forgot to disconnect the hose. Oh. Right, tell you what. Right. Wouldn't suggest doing this normally, but uh, pair of scissors. There we go. And there you have the old down pipe removed. And as you can see, the size difference in the two is massive. It's a bit knackered. So now, all we need to do is Stick this one back on. Oh. Gonna have to pop the carbon guard off because it's hitting. I had a right game getting this guard to fit in the first place. I had to actually um, dremel out the bolt holes on it because the holes didn't line up. So, yeah, a bit of a pain in the arse. There we are. Oh. Seems to be in place. Go around this side. Ow. And stick the nuts on. If you can get the threads to thread up. 
There you are. That's one on. Then that's number two. Now get your twelve millimetre ratchet. and do up the bolts on the head <sighs> right um could have a problem here because of the angle of it it don't want to fit on probably I'll have to come back to that with a spanner and tighten it up properly then you want to come around this side make sure that's all in place how it should be then get your 10 mil and tighten that back up. There you go. Like that. And that's that attached. I need to find a 12 mil. I shall be back with you guys in a second. Right, I've managed to find myself a 12 mil. So, I'll go back in and finish tightening them up. Yeah, that should do the trick. Now, just need to come back around here and put the carbon guard back on. There's one bolt threaded. Hmm. Doesn't want to fit. The uh, clamp's interfering with it. Never mind. I'll have to modify it and come back to that. So, that's that done. I suppose we better start it up and see what it sounds like. I'm expecting it to sound a little bit different now it hasn't got the cat in it anymore there we go lovely proper job oh it's a bit hot Just need to try and get an idea if I've got any leaks. All seems pretty good. Sweet. Now, what you need to do is remove this pipe here where's my scissors gone uh, this pipe is the uh, the AIS 
valve pipe basically what it does is it takes air from your air box and pumps it out through your exhaust and its sole purpose is for emissions uh, make the bike a bit cleaner but it doesn't do your performance much good so yeah go in the bin and when you buy the pipe they supply you with these little bungs and all you do is you push it over the top of there where it was on the air box there you go job done sweet is it up no more great big massive heavy ugly standard cat and down pipe on proper job sweet guys well hope that's been helpful to some of you Yamaha owners out there oh any bike really I suppose it's more or less the same procedure just different bike um I'll catch you later take it easy